Hi, Eagle fans. I hope that you're doing well today. It's time for another Reading Eagle weather update. This one brought to you by the local association of Coots, who would like to remind you of their slogan, Coots, we're not for dinner. In my previous weather update brought to you about 10 days ago, we were anticipating about 7 or 8 inches of rain in the Reading area. Over that period, Reading proper actually only saw about 4.5 inches, while Shasta Dam, about 11 miles to the north, did receive a full 7 inches. What you're viewing now is the weather forecast for Reading over the next 10 days. And if you add up those rain totals, it's about 11 inches forecast. But not only that, if you look at the graph on the bottom, that big blue blob represents the forecast rain uh, possibility or percentage. And once we enter Wednesday, which is tomorrow, the forecast shows that the probability for rain never dips below 50% in any hour for the next nine days. So it looks like a fairly steady rain at the rate of just over an average one inch per day. While this series of storms may cause waters to rise in local creeks, it is no match for Shasta Dam and Lake Shasta just to the north of Redding. The dam uh, impounds Lake Shasta, which is California's largest man-made reservoir. While the recent storms have caused some local flooding in California, all of our major reservoirs have significant capacity remaining due to the drought. We're loving the rain here in California, and I'm sure our eagles are as well. As expected, the camera has been out a couple of times. This is due to the low level of light we receive this time of year, as well as the relatively constant cloud cover that we have been receiving. We ask for your patience uh, during this time when we receive so little light to the solar power grid that powers this camera. And rest assured that as we move into the spring and summer months, we expect that the increased light will mean decreased problems and outages. One additional note about the camera is that you will see much more condensation than normal because of our high humidity and low temperatures. Again, this is something that will correct itself as things dry out and temperatures rise. Thank you for your patience on that issue as well. And finally, I'll leave you with a clip that Terry got for us yesterday. This is Miss Liberty on a perch just to the northwest of the nest. You'll see Guardian join her, and together they trill together, which is just a wonderful sight to behold. Take care, everyone. Be safe and be well.